On today's tip from Tammy, I'm talking about the wardrobe edit, closet detox. It scares a lot of people because they think, Tammy, don't come in and tell me I have to get rid of everything in my closet because it's all wrong for me. But that's not what a closet edit is about. It's really about three steps, repair, repurpose, and remove repair. A lot of people have items of clothing, accessories, and shoes in their closet, and they like them. They're just not wearing them because they are broken. So very simple. You don't have to repair things yourself, but figure out who can do that. Is it your tailor? Is it a cobbler? Is it a jewelry repair shop or your favorite jewelry store? So get those items that are broken or need a bit of spiffing up, get them repaired. That's step one. Step two is repurpose. Maybe you've got something in your closet that could be combined with something else to make a totally new garment, or maybe you could buy something and have those two combined and repurpose what you already have. So before you just get rid of it, think about if you could give that item a second life. And again, you don't have to do this yourself or even come with, up with the idea yourself, but you can ask, I would start with your tailor or ask a friend, is there something else I could do to repurpose this item? The third step I'm talking about today in a closet edit is removing items. And this is the part that scares a lot of people. Sometimes people form emotional attachments to their clothing. They hold on to things because of sentimental value when they know they'll never wear it again. This can be okay as long as it doesn't become excessive and as long as you have the room to do this, but most of us at some point really need to make room in our closet so we can see and use what we already have. So there's a whole set of guidelines that go along with removing items, but I do think this should be the last resort because the point is if we're constantly removing items and we see empty space, we are going to subconsciously want to fill that space and we keep the cycle of overconsumption going. So remove step three should be the last resort. For more tips like this delivered to your inbox twice a month, just sign up at the link.